out here today shooting the S120 from TriStar. TriStar Imports, a lot of good guns. They uh, come in from Turkey. This was also made in Turkey. It's called the Canic 55. It's a real good design, a uh, pattern after the CZ 75, which has been popular for many years. In fact, it was the uh, one of Jeff Cooper's uh, favorite firearm designs, and if a man like that can recommend uh, this design, it's a good design. Uh, and the Bren 10 ended up being based off this same design. Anyway, it's a good design, been around since 1975, and it has some really nice features to it. First of all, this gun, it's chrome-plated, but it's all steel. There's no uh, no plastic, no aluminum lowers on it. The only plastic parts are the grips right here. Uh, it has a manual safety on it. And you can carry it cocked and locked. The safety up, carry it cocked and locked just like a 1911. Push your safety down, you're ready to fire. Has a really good trigger pull to it. The double action pull is about nine pounds on this one, but very smooth. Single action pull comes in right at four. Nice crisp pull. Now it does have a long trigger reach for double action, so if you got really small hands, might not work for you, but try it out before you go for one. But anyway, it's a real smooth pull on it, smoother than a lot of pistols on the market. Unique feature about these guns, it makes them really, really strong, is the slide has the uh, rails on the inside, the frame has the rails on the outside, so it's opposite like a 1911. Your slide has full length rails that run inside the frame, so it gives it a really rigid, strong fit. Uh, it's uh, got a ramp barrel on it, uh, roll type hammer, it's got some three dock sights on it, adjustable for windage, uh, it's got a nice extractor on it, don't give any problems, good smooth trigger face. Nice, it's a large frame gun, it weighs uh, 35.4 ounces with an empty magazine in place and it comes with two of these uh, steel 17 round magazines. So it gives you a total loaded capacity of 18 shots of 9mm. Uh, put some good hot hollow points in there, it'll handle any uh, 9mm ammo on the market. You can put plus P in it and run all you want to, this gun's not going to break. Another thing that really surprised me about it, I was expecting good accuracy but not as good as I got so I uh, stapled this one. Uh, the target over here I want to show you, you've got some really good groups out of this. Let me move in front of it here. The largest group fired of the day was two and a quarter inches, which that's good acceptable accuracy out of any fighting pistol, but that was the largest group. It shot to one inches with a 95 grain Buffalo Bore TAC XP, shot at an inch with Remington Ultimate Home Defense 124 hollow point. Uh, everything else was in between those. Shot another uh, uh, target paper besides this one. This is the one I ended up on, shot real good, actually started out good, it uh, stayed good, I had one malfunction out of this pistol, uh, the whole, uh, everything I put through it had some uh, military surplus, uh, 124 grain uh, that uh, failed to chamber one, and uh, no explanation for it, looked in it, that was early on, after that it ran perfectly with everything I put through it, it's a real good, reliable, inexpensive handgun, you get a lot of gun for the money with this, it's a uh, MSRP as of today is uh, only $439 US and that's a good price of course wholesale is less than that you can probably buy it retail for somewhere in between there get it for somewhere around 400 bucks but it comes with two of those mags, it comes with a hard case, cable lock, uh, cleaning rod, uh, bore brush and a good instruction manual anyway it's available from TriStar Firearms so check them out online and uh, hope you enjoy the video